In an effort to show solidarity with the South and strengthen the Jewish people's hold on the land, the Jewish National Fund held a tree planting ceremony near the Gaza Belt communities. The Jewish National Fund organized a day to bring representatives of the Israeli youth groups to the south to plant trees and show solidarity with the still beleaguered towns near Arab-occupied Gaza. We're here in a solidarity mission. We're going to plant trees to support the south during these hard moments, not to leave them behind. All the Zionist youth movements of the whole world have come here together at Kibbutz Ruchama, just near Sderot, to come show how we support the South after the war and call for a release of Gilad Shalit. All the youth movements from all over Israel coming together as one to plant trees for Israel. Those present range from the groups identified with the left to the most nationalistic, but all came together in the spirit of building up the land of Israel. The month of Adar is also the sign calling for all Jews to come together because if we do not stick together that's uh, the worst thing that could happen to us. Today we're having all the movements from all, all over um, the country who come to Israel for the year are coming and planting a whole um, uh, forest for Kakal. There's a very important activity for unity in the country because every single person that has a Zionist heart knows how it feels to bond together with the others and support Israel all together. It's very important because to bring the youth movements together to be as one because we're all Zionists, we all believe in Israel, we all believe in the same God, we all want to um, dedicate ourselves to Israel. Even though there are differences in ideology and opinions, there's more that unites us than that can actually divide between us. When it came time to plant trees, not only the youth got together, but even the heads of the different movements, who under normal circumstances are ideological opponents, such as the leader of the labor-affiliated Habanim Dror and the religious nationalist Bnei Akiva. Everyone worked together to plant the new forest.